to North 40 if it stops raining. But listen, we had to stop off at our secret place to fuel up. Man, the prices are so cheap here. We just can't let people know where we're at. So we're gonna hang out here for just a little bit. And then we're gonna head out to see Lloyd. Come on and join us. See you there. This is Texas City. It'd be, I guess, the north side of Texas City. We're at Moses Lake RV Storage Marina. Lloyd, do I have that right? Did, did, I, did I get that? Moses Lake Boat and RV Storage and Marina. Y'all yes, meet sir. Lloyd? Lloyd, tell us a little bit about what you got going on here at Moses Lake Bait Shop. What do you do here at this bait shop? Well, I just bring in the fresh water, bring in my bait, shrimp, live shrimp. We're going to do croaker, croaker. We do mullets flounder season, mud minnows, and of course frozen, and uh, have a line of tackle. Just a lot of the assortment of the, of the just, you know, your artificial. Your live bait, your so live you, you bait do have live artificial. bait, and then you're frozen, you got, you got lures, you got, you also sell ice, you got drinks. Um, ice, drinks, snacks, yes sir. All right here. And of course we have a boat launch, ten dollars per day okay so you got the boat ramp right here if you're looking at the screen it's kind of down to the right a little bit there and if you look beyond that there's plenty of parking you also do storage here tell us a little about the storage you rent here Lloyd well I have a covered and enclosed dry storage we have the 
obviously in the boat canal, we can tie boats in, off, and uh, have a fish cleaning table here. You got your table. You're going to do, you're also going to put your little uh, advertising where people can hang their fish, come in here. I guess you got the table over here. I'd, I'd love to sit there and listen to the fish stories that go on there, but uh, that's kind of cool. And this, yeah, this is, uh, this is really nice. I mean, you've got the piers, the bulkhead. This really looks nice. Now, you also said you're doing things in phases here. Where, where are you now? You're at phase two, phase three? Phase three will have a, this, uh, the boathouse will have an upper deck with a palapa top on top, stairway going up. This fish cleaning table will have a palapa top on it. We'll have a rack built where they can hang their fish, logo and all, take pictures of the catch of the day. And we have a, I have a little lounge area with a bar. Yeah, it looks camp, nice. At it, the camp. Um, it all looks really nice. You've done an incredible job. Now, you also said you were going to do something back here. Way yes. back here, uh, um, maybe you said uh, some extra parking or? or yes, I have acres out there to be developed into a parking lot to host fish tournaments. Going to build a big palapa back there, have a bar, a kitchen area in it. Uh, we're going to fish in North 40 today, me and Alicia. We're going to see how we do. But we're going to find out from Lloyd where they're at. Hey, Lloyd, this is just awesome. And you also said you were going to maybe do something down the line in another phase behind Alicia here where you were going to have some offices, maybe some apartments or something. Well, it's going to have a, you know, that, that old Quonson hut there is going to get demoed out and putting a new building in. It's going to have an apartment upstairs, office down. And the second half of that building would be a shop to where we I can lease out to whoever wants to use it for various reasons, maybe renting jet skis and boats yeah, and go, kayaks guys. and what have you. Yeah. Hey, Tate, we'll just call this Lloydsville. <laughs> <laughs> Boat launch is nice. I'm telling you, this is, I mean, I've driven by this place a million times. And, and just sitting here now and looking at this place, this is really, really incredible, guys. You're going to have to come down here and put your boat in the water. Come over here and meet Lloyd and see what he's got going on down here at the Moses Lake Bait Shop. Here on Moses Lake. Kimberlyn, why don't you tell us what are you guys up to here? Well, we were hanging out in Galveston. We heard you guys were doing a shoot today, and we wanted to come by and give you some of our merchandise for a future giveaway and just kind of meet you all in person. We see you all the awesome. time on TV, you know, your shows, and we wanted to actually come by and see you and let you know a little bit more about Girls Who Fish. Um, essentially, it's an it, organization which Lisa can kind of tell more as far as, like, how it started back in, like, 2014. Yes, Really 2014. grassroots approach. You know, she... 
loves the outdoors, loves fishing, and so started this site as a way for women and a you know, like-minded community of fishing you know, women and supportive men. We want to put that out there. I know there are a lot of sites out there who ban the men, um, but we definitely you know, have men um, who um, are very supportive and on our site as well, and we basically just want to provide information about fishing and let women um, have community and talk about fishing and share their pics. Oh my God, on our site, we have the most amazing pics from these women yes. as far as what they've been uh, catching and sharing. women love to fish. They do, oh, yes, they do. do. And I don't know, you know, what it is about, you know, um, if there's intimidation, but you know, our slide is there and ready for them to come aboard and fish with us. So Carolyn, tell me a little bit about, about you. Well, essentially I was in the oil and gas community for about 15 years. And then COVID came around. Oh wow! And um, with COVID, I worked in oil and gas, and um, I basically lost my job. So um, with that, that's kind of like helped me kind of join with Lisa in in working to build this community and help make it like a bigger function. Because now I have more time. Awesome. I have time on my hands. So what do you do when you lose your job? Yeah. You go fishing. Go fishing. <laughs> exactly. Where bays and bayous meet the Gulf. Grand Isle has beckoned people to its shores for centuries. A haven for wildlife, a sanctuary for the soul. Generations have lived off what Mother Nature has provided. Water is life here, and its bounty is plentiful. Come escape to play and explore this island paradise. Grand Isle, as Mother Nature intended. Hey, yes, this is Keith with Kima Coach. Sure, we can do that. Hey, call us today at 713-205-2395. Kima Coach Sportswear and promotional products. Look for us on Facebook. So, Carolyn, where would I run into you if you were fishing? Well, actually, I'm one of those kind of late bloomers in the fishing community. You know, Lisa's been fishing since she was three. Um, I just kind of started when I um, had my job. We had a uh, the Kennedy Ranch. They'd go out to Baffin Bay. And mm. so down in Matagorda and Baffin Bay, we would take guided tours where they had uh, fishing piers. And that's really where I got my feet wet and really started enjoying the fishing life. And I love still going down there and, and fishing. Well, how cool is that? So we heard from Kimberlyn. So Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about you. I'm Lisa Welch. Um, I started fishing with my grandmother when I was two or three, two or three years old. Um, I was raised on deep sea fishing boats. Oh, cool! Mostly in uh, Grand Isle. Ah, so my we've grandmother, been there. yeah. yeah. Um, we used to go uh, fishing, crabbing. You know, we we caught everything, cooked everything right there, fresh. You know, off the boat, right in onto the grill, on, into the frying pan. And um, I was hooked after then. Just love fishing. Love it. Same love here. It, love it. Fishing mm -hmm. since I was a little girl. So Lisa, tell me about this girls who fish thing. Cause evidently I'm hearing you <laughs> are the fishing guru when it comes to this team, right? I, um, this is how I started just a little page on Facebook. And I thought, you know, let, um, I want to get, you know, meet more people that like to fish like to do, be on the water, kayaking, fishing, you know, just being outside. And so I started it and I thought, you know, let me see, um, Girls Who Fish. Okay, Girls Who Fish. Well, there you, you go. go. <laughs> Great name. We when love Girls born. Who Fish and we love to fish. And um, it just started from there in 2014. Wow. And, um, and here we are now. Mm -hmm. So Lisa, I hear you have a place out by Louis Bay Camp. Tell me about that. Yes, the Girls Who Fish Camp. Uh, Y'all come by and see us, come fish off the pier, come sit and have a beer, just talk and just be outside. Absolutely. And we're at 3510 Highway 6, and we're in space number 15, right on the water. 
Do I need to call before I come, or do I just kind of shoot out? What are your hours? You can, you can call, text, or just show up All right. on the pier. You know, we welcome everyone. That's everyone awesome. is welcome. That's wonderful. At the Girls Who Fish Camp. Fantastic. So... We've got some merchandise here. Absolutely. That, yay. Y'all yes. gonna this is a great package that we're gonna be putting together to give away on our show on Fridays for our live bait report. But tell me about the product. Where right. can I get this incredible product? Well now that I have all this time on my hands, <laughs> <laughs> I got into my creative side, if you will. Um, and so we have the Facebook page. That's the best way to hit us up. We have a couple links for the decals and we are in the process of constructing our website. So you can find us on Instagram. It's girls who fish underscore Galveston. Then, of course, girls who fish on Facebook. And then we will be having a website, girlswhofish.net. And that's where wow. we'll have the full display. There's more merchandise than this. Um, and it will be available on the website. This is some pretty cool stuff. Thank you. Am I eligible for the drawing? Or do I do I have <laughs> I think, to just stare at this I stuff? I think we'll hook, we get you a hookup. Th oh, we'll get I you a hookup. Hook yes. yeah. Check this out. Because the shirt that she's wearing here, yes. I'm thinking it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Yeah. We've got this. You know, right. all the girls want to see stuff. And this is our main uh, logo, which that is, is a know, great the decals. Logo. And we have a couple other um, variations. And I think what we're going to do is a GWF. So guys can maybe be supportive. And if they want, they can say it's guys who fish. But then we <laughs> right. know really what there it you is. Go. <laughs> we'll just swipe it out. That's right. Girls who fish. That's right. That's I right. love that. So we'll get it. Do all. not discriminate. Girls. No. Girls and guys. Yes. guys exactly. We exactly. welcome everyone. We welcome <laughs> everyone. As long as the guys know they're fishing for fish and not women, we're good. Yay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Gosh, this is crazy. It was such a great pleasure oh, meeting so you two. Exciting. I'm so yeah, excited. So nice we to got meet to meet. You. Yes, finally. I'm going to have to show up and fish with yes, the girls. Absolutely. Please. Let Keith have a guys fishing day. But please I'm please coming out coming with the girls. girls fishing day. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. guys but i'm telling you we love fishing moses lake the water was just beautiful today 70 looked about what alicia 70 70 68 68 70 degrees uh -huh. uh, the water looked great fish was all around us and uh lloyd just showed us some uh, pictures of some guys just pulled in a boatload of fish they're using live bait um but, you know, some win, some days you have good days, some days you have bad days. Hey, boy, we're sitting out here. This is where, 146 is right behind us. This is where you, if people want to come fish, you charge a certain rate. They can come down here and fish right off the bank. Yeah, these, the whole family can set up camp and just enjoy the, the scenery. Right, it's beautiful, man. I mean, good. it's beautiful. So for a minimum fee, they come down here, fish, have a day out of it. You got picnic tables all the way around this thing. And we were fishing earlier right over here behind us, fishing behind all these pilings and everything. And then I, I saw where that sign said no anchoring. <laughs> At least it said, uh -oh. oops. Whoops. Hey, thank y'all for joining us. Where's the fish? And thank Lloyd. Thank you for inviting us out and, and checking out this cool place. I, I guarantee you guys you need to come check it out. And we'll see you Friday on our live fishing show, Where's the Fish? Find out who's got bait, who doesn't have bait, and uh, we'll see you then. Good night. Thank you much. <laughs>